This video will show you how to create a multi-part question in Schoology. As you can see over here on the right, a multi-part question is where the students are given some type of prompt, such as this one where it's a political cartoon about President Abraham Lincoln, and then they have to answer two questions relating to that. So part A is asking which outcome resulted from the amendment shown in this cartoon, and they have to choose one of those options. Then in part B, it's asking what evidence from the political cartoon supports the answer that they chose in part A. So they have to choose two answers for it to be correct. So ultimately, this is simply a multi-select question. It's very similar to the multi-select question, which means we're going to use the multiple choice option in Schoology. So I'm going to switch over to Schoology and go over here to multiple choice. Now, for doing this, I kind of recommend having the question kind of written out before or somewhere you're going to copy it and paste it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the question and the picture just to make this go a little faster. Go to question setup. I'm going to do control V to paste it. So I have the question and the picture. But if you don't have anywhere to select it like I did, you can type it and then format it using these options. To, to insert a picture, you would use this option here. So I'm going to scroll down. Now the option, we got to start creating all the answer choices. So with this one, though, we have to come down. And we're, the parts, which has the question, we're kind of going to use them as answer choices. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it here. And it's going to look like it's an answer choice, but that's kind of the only way we can get this formatting in there. And then I'm going to come down, and I'm going to select the answer choices for part A. And again, I'm just using Control-C to copy, and then Control-V to paste. So I'm just going over here, copy, paste. I'm getting all these. Now you see I need to add some more question answers. So I just use the option, and I'm going to do a couple. Get now to D, copy, paste. Now we're going to do the next question, which I'm going to just copy that. Part B with the question. Again, control C, copy. Come down here and I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to add all the answers for that one, which is going to be four. So, so I scroll down. Again, just control C to copy, control V to paste. I mean, you could still right click too. This is just something. I I just find a little faster, but I know some teachers prefer just using the right click. So that, and then we're going to do the answer choices. So I have all of that in there. I'm going to scroll down and make sure you have the option for multiple responses selected. And then I'm going to select the answers. So I'm going to do A and C. Now you will note that it does make it look like these questions for the parts are answer choices. And I don't think there's any way we can get around that yet with this type of question in Schoology. What you can do instead is just kind of format it to make it look like it's not an answer choice. It's, it's the prompt. So you can come up here and maybe make it a little bit bigger. You can make it bold. You can underline. Some way to make it look like that's not an answer choice, but that's a prompt they need to just read. So let's say 25. Now I'll come down here and copy that option. So it's bold. I'm going to italicize this one and then increase the size. So again, I'm just trying to make these two look a little bit different than the rest so that students know that this is not an answer choice they should select, but it's a prompt. So if I come down here, 
kind of looks like that. If I come up here to preview it, this is going to be what it looks like. So the students will have the question, the picture, and then the options. So you can see it looks a little, I mean, you could still select that, but when you format it a little bit more, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to see not to select that. So then the students select the answers. They, they can select multiple answers, and then they just submit. And then we come back up here, edit question. So you have that in there. You have the answer choices. So the key is making sure there's multiple responses selected. And then, of course, I would recommend adding in the teak.